Hello everybody, welcome back. Siri Tech here. Uh, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be doing some uh, prop and motor thrust testing. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing the Beta FPV 17,500 kV motors. These are 7mm by 16mm. I'm going to be showing the Flight Sky 17,500 kV motors. Uh, these are also 716s. And then last but not least, the Gnarly FPV 716s. So for these I'm going to be using uh, your standard four blade prop. Um, the only difference is with the Gnarly FPV, the four blade prop is for a one millimeter shaft as opposed to 1.8. Outside of that, these motors are very similar. I mean, the size is the same, it's just really the motor shaft. So I've got three freshly charged batteries, I've got three motors, and I've got three prop setups. For my rig, I've got my um, scale, I took a Beta 75 and a Beta 65S duct and motor mount and I hot glued them into a pyramid type thing and I'm going to be using Betaflight to control my motor speed. So for the first test we've got the Beta FPV 17,500 kV motor in there. We're going to grab our freshly charged battery. We're going to see how many grams this thing can push. So we're looking at about, that was 8.4, so that's for the Beta FPV one. So let me go ahead and disconnect from Beta Flight and swap this motor out real quick. I'll go ahead and speed up through this little process so you guys don't have to watch this in real time. Alright guys, now this is the Flight Sky. 17,500 kV 716 motor. I found these on Amazon. They're, you can get two sets of these motors for about the price of the Beta FPV um, 17,500 kV motors right now. But let's see if they're, uh, they're just as powerful. I'll just get my battery plugged in so we grab our fresh battery for this test. So those came out to only about 7.9 grams. So it's almost a grams difference. And those are the Flight Sky 17,500 kV motors. So that's interesting. All right, so let me go ahead and disconnect and then we'll get the last motor on here and we'll see how that one performs. All right. So let's check out Gnarly FPV. Let's see what their uh, undisclosed KV is going to give us. Right, so I'll make sure that's all teared out. Grab my last battery. 4.33. I'm sorry about that. So let's see. So we had 8.8, .8, we had 7.9. Let's see what the Gnarly FPV gives us. at max I'd say so 9.3 so that's <laughs> it's definitely faster all right guys well there's my test on my 716s that I've got right now I've got some other low budget ones that I found on Amazon and I might be doing some testing on those I'm actually going to do a round of testing with uh, bi-blade and tri-blade props but yeah let me know what you guys think of this video uh, so far it looks like the gnarly FPVs are indeed faster than the 17,500 kV motors. Um, I do not have the Bold Clash 19,000 kV, I'm sorry, 19,000 kV motors, so I wasn't able to test those in this round, but um, hopefully I can get some of those pretty soon and we'll check those out. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're interested in building this, like I said, it's really simple. I use craft sticks. 
hot glue, and two ducts from old frames. This is going to allow me to be able to test 720s and 716s. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I'll have links in the description for all three sets of these motors if you're interested. And um, yeah, like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Make sure to check out my uh, video on the Solder Sport camera. I'm currently doing a giveaway right now, and I will be drawing the winner on Christmas Day. So uh, happy holidays to everybody, and as always, fly safe and fly often.